one. Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, sorry that I haven't been doing two a week, but I've been busy doing, you know, start trying to start up a new business and taking this over myself. So, um, I'm trying my very hardest to at least get you one video a week. So, um, today I'm going to do a straight pour. I may or may not wreck it. Who knows? I'm just flying by the seat of my pants today. So, um, I'll get my husband to get me down to the canvas and we'll get started. So today I am obviously using mix. Um, I have put satin enamel into my white. So I'm using the Amsterdam titanium white and I put the Deco Art Americana decor satin enamels in with that. Um, for this 16 ounce cup, I put about a tablespoon in. And then I have Amsterdam permanent red violet. And one of my very, very faves, the permanent blue violet. Deco Art Americana Metallics 24K. It's almost like I can't live without it. And then I've got three Parage Posse paints. These are Christina Welch's paints. I'm using Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer, Silver Lake Metallic, and Galaxy Blue Shimmer. So, I've got my trusty silicone cup. You know, I love it so much. And let's start by putting the Sleeping Beauty in first. And I just put a little teeny tiny bit in there. And I think I'll put the gold on top of that. And then y'all know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna put white, because I gotta lock it in. Not a lot, just a little. And then I think I'm gonna use the Silver Lake. Super pretty color. It's very shimmery. And then I'm going to use the Permanent Blue Violet. I think it'll be a nice contrast next to each other. And then I'll use the Permanent Red Violet. And use the Galaxy Blue Shimmer. And then I'm going to go, go into the gold again. I'm going to use a healthy dose of it this time. I'm going to lock that in. And because I'm only doing a 20 by 20, I'm not going to fill this cup all the way up. So, okay, we'll use a Silver Lake again. And I think on top of that, I'm gonna put the Sleeping Beauty. And then the Galaxy Blue. And then do the Permanent Red Violet. And then I think this time I'm gonna put gold on top of that. And lock it in with the white, but I'm gonna put a heavy dose of white in this time because I really want that satin enamel to really kind of kick in. All right, so I'm gonna set these cups aside because I should not need any more than what I've got in that cup right now. My intention was to not fill it up and I've got it pretty full right now. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and I'm gonna water down the rest of my gold. I don't have a ton left in there, but um, just water it down a little bit. And we'll mix it up. 
mix that up. That's going to be our pouring puddle. All right, so we'll pour that in the middle. So I did a pouring party the other day and uh, it was nice to feel normal again. It was with someone who wanted me to teach them how to pour paint for their uh, team. So they hang out a lot together and um, so I wasn't really in fear of COVID being spread around. So I think I'm okay there. Um, all right, so we're gonna pour into that and see what we've got. All right, y'all, here we go. I can't tell you how much I love this turntable. It makes pouring so much easier. All right, and I'm going to catch it. Not the perfect catch, but it was okay. And you know I'm gonna take my sticky stick and I'm gonna fix it. it just needs a little swoopy right here. Okay, that's it. And then I'm going to torch it. But these girls, they had never pour painted before and they did a wonderful job. Kind of like when I did a pour with Eric where who knew that my husband could pour like that, right? He did an excellent job. All right, so I'm gonna pour the rest of my white around this. And remember, it's got that satin enamel in it, so it's gonna help do awesome stuff. Come up here. Okay, set that up here because I wash my cups when I'm done. I soak them. And I'll get my little omelet turner. I'm gonna butt that paint right up against the edge. It was such a beautiful day here in the CLE. Um, I actually had a chance to go outside and enjoy the weather for a little bit today, despite how busy I've been. But I decided I needed to take time to enjoy the weather because I haven't seen it in so long. You miss the sunshine when you don't have it. That's definitely for sure. Okay, one more corner. And I think we're good. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. And do I want to wreck it or do I not? I don't think so. I think the center is cool, so let's start tilting it around and see what it wants to do. A 
I love this permanent blue violet. It's like one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, other than the gold, because you know that I love gold. So I think I'm gonna take it off this corner down here first. So we'll get the paint working that way. Okay, and then I'll bring it back. Since the weight of my paint is already down there, I'll take it off this corner. And then I'm gonna bring it back. Then I am going to turn this baby around. See how nice and easy it is? And I'm gonna take it down to this corner. That Sleeping Beauty is so pretty in the middle. I'm glad I put it in first. And despite what Christina Welch says, it works really good with mix. Um, not that she has not said it doesn't, but um, she has never asked me to try it. So I can't tell you how amazing this stuff is in unison with each other. Just mixes so well with mix, I love it. I can't help myself. I feel impelled to have to use it. Okay, I'm over the edge, right? Nope, almost. Yep, I am now. Okay, then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm glad I didn't wreck this, because it really is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna pull it down this way. I'm gonna go off this corner again, because I don't know if I like that white going on. I think I'm gonna tilt it off. There's no action going on in it, so it can just go away. Oh, maybe I'll leave a little bit. Oh, I'll bring it back. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it back this way a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. I got some sweet little pearl cells coming out. From using my puddle is a white, or my puddle is a gold, sorry, not white. Okay. All right, I'm going to scrape my edges, tend my corners. Get this one. Basically just letting it roll off my glove because my gloves are like full of paint. Okay. And I'm going to pull this way and get this one. And then get this side. And then I'll come this way and I'll get this side. Okay, y'all, I gotta bring you down for this. This is so pretty. Let me get my gloves off. Let me torch it. If 
if you love purple, this is a painting for you, for sure. That permanent blue violet really took over, but I really love what's going on right in here. And I love my little gold cells inside the gold. It's super cool. All right, let me come get you. Look at how cool this painting is. Look at these crazy lines. And these little gold cells just popping up. We'll go up this way first. Look at the transparency right there. So awesome. The little gold cells. I think I'm gonna get cells inside this Sleeping Beauty because you can see that they're popping already. The transparency in here is awesome. It's one of the things I love about those Parage Posses and Mix. Look at right there. It's like stripey cells in those little fingerlings. OMG, look at the transparency right here. Amazing. I gotta show you these gold cells. Look at the gold cells inside the gold. How cool is that? And it does it again up here. Funky little cell right there. And then look at these little cells just popping up. They're like, well, hello. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will post a dry pick when it is dry. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right, bye y'all.